Today I'm going to show you how to do a simple engine swap mod on F1 2017. You're going to need two things for this. First you need F1 2017 for the PC. This is not doable on consoles. Second you'll need a tool called the Ego ERP Archiver which I've given a link in the description below. It's a free tool that allows you to edit in-game files. So go ahead and pause this video if you don't have the ERP Archiver. Uh, download it to your desktop and come back when you're ready. Alright, so my first suggestion would be to make a backup folder of the files that we'll be editing. Just so you can always revert if something goes wrong. So you want to go to your Files Manager, C Drive, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, F1 2017. Now you'll want to go into Asset Groups, 2017 Vehicle Package. And what I like to do is just right click and copy this whole Teams folder uh, just to the desktop, which I have here, ERP Original Files. And that way you can just, let's say I had gone ahead and made 10 different mods and I've screwed something up. Well, I can just click and drag and move it to here and overwrite and we'll be back at the original state of the game. We can start again. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, go ahead and open the Ego ERP Archiver program. There we go. So for today's engine swap, we're going to take the worst car, Sauber, and give it the best engine, Mercedes. We're going to go File, Open. I'm going to go to the, uh, excuse me, the Mercedes folder, WEP, and double-click the CRP file. This contains all different graphical and uh, numerical properties for the vehicle. Go to your XML Files tab, select Mercedes.VTF, and we're going to go ahead and export that just to the desktop. Save that. Okay, back to File Open, and now to Sober. XML, we're going to do the same thing for Sober. We're going to export that file to the desktop. Now, if you do not want to change Sauber from the Ferrari sound to the Mercedes sound, that's all you have to do in terms of what files you need. If you also want to get the Mercedes sound, uh, follow along. We're going to go to Package Files, CarModel.Layer, and we're going to export that to the desktop as well. Alright, now we can minimize our Archiver program. Let's go ahead and open the Mercedes and Sauber engine properties side by side. And if you take a quick look at this document, uh, basically what we're looking at, X within engine revs, X is the amount of revs, I don't think it's actually 140 revs per se, because this only goes up to, let's see, the max power is at 12.5, so I'm thinking that's 12,599 revs. And then the value for Y is the amount of power. Um, it's obviously not horsepower, I'm not sure what it is. But regardless, uh, we're going to click and highlight from engine all the way down to the chassis section. We're not giving Sauber any of the chassis goodies, but we're giving the full power unit. Okay. So we'll go through brake ECU and we'll stop before chassis. Right click and copy. Let's highlight those same lines in the Sauber document. And we're just going to paste over them. And paste. Now we can close both documents. Save the Sauber document. Now we're going to go into this carmodel.layer, which is the file that you, you, that you modify to change engine sounds. Scroll about a third of the way down. I'm going to see Audio F1 Car. Bundle name 
Ferrari 2017. We don't want that Ferrari sound anymore. Highlight it and type in Mercedes. Close and save. And we're 99% of the way there at this point. Very simple. We're still in Sauber.erp. I'm going to go to our XML. Make sure Sauber is still highlighted. We're going to import what we just created. There we go. And you'll see the numbers have changed. And conveniently, because Mercedes is the car used for equal cars, you can just click back and forth and you should see that they have the same numbers. So we're good there. Now let's go to our package files and bring in the new car model dot layer for the engine sound. There we go. Scroll that down a bit and you'll see Mercedes 2017.bdl. There we go. File, save, and overwrite the ERP. And we can close the program. We're done. So that's all there is to it if you want to do a simple engine swap. Uh, what I'm currently working on is I'm giving Sauber a Mercedes and I'm giving McLaren a Ferrari, which is the second best engine, uh, just to tighten up the field and experiment with that. And it takes five minutes. And I can always revert to the original files if I decide to, as I showed you earlier on. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave them below. I'd be happy to try to help you out. And if you happen to have a newer copy of the game than 2017, which I'm sure many of you do, uh, feel free to comment if this process works or if this process has changed. And uh, yeah, I hope this has been helpful to you. Have a good day.